is my second beginning. She's my friend Amanda. Today I'm going to be doing her back to school for skin, lighter skin tone makeup. Yes, yes, that's it. Um, she already has foundation on, so I'm just going to be putting NYC Smooth Skin Press Face Powder on. It's a translucent color because I don't trust their actual foundation with color on it because it doesn't really work very well. This is just a really easy way to blot oil and make her face not shine. For her blush, I'm going to be applying Gentle, which is a mineralized MAC blush. It's really pretty light, peachy smooth color. I'm going to blot it off and then just do it on the cheekbones up to the side of the eye. Okay, for my highlighter, I'm going to be using prestigious Skin Loving Minerals. Yeah, the top just fell off. It's really that's your This is in pure shimmer. I'm going to put this down over the nose, down the chin. I'm using this, which is called Golden Mink, and it's one of the cosmetics bronzers. It's a limited time one, but I really recommend you try it out. So, try it out. Give it to basic. And then I'm going to take my bronzer. Get below the cheekbones for yeah. I'm gonna be using Max Lollipop Love and this is one of everyone's like favorites. Wow, the bags in the bag are huge. Okay, one of everyone's like favorites and it's a really pretty pink color. It goes really good with light skin tone. That looks like really looks really good. Really 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 I'm gonna be applying Lip Licious Lip Licious Frozen Dactyl. It's also a really natural color, which is good. Uh, this will just make it a little more shiny and give it some good taste and give it more gloss and feel good. This looks like some good Just like that. Okay. All right, we finished her face makeup and her lip makeup. Now we're gonna be applying. Eyeshadow. Um, face shadow and shroom for your primer. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna be taking one of Lawsonay's eyeshadows. This is a really pretty color, like on my skin tone, number thirty six. The sparkle dust. Sparkle dust for the fairies out there. All right. Now we're gonna take. Just a regular large eyeshadow brush, and this is going to be her all over eyelid palette. If you have fallout a lot of the time, I recommend doing your face makeup after you do your eye makeup. I've never done my, well, I don't see people's makeup very much, so that's why the camera angles might be bad and blah blah blah. But Really nice I'm like, this is more of a little bit older eyeshadow look for back to school, but it's still natural. And like, neutral colors. Now we're going to be applying Underground, which is one of, uh, like in the case, the Luxe. They don't have these palettes anymore, but you can purchase the individual the Luxe. Shadow, if you want to. I'm going to be applying this on the outer corner into the crease and on the eyelid. I'm using a small precision uh, brush for these because it's a darker color than the rest of the shadow. I really want to make sure I'm getting into the creases of um, the skin. I'm just going to use my crank. And then, same thing. Okay, now I'm going to do the last darker color. This is where you have two choices of recommendations. I recommend using White Baked, which is a really nice color by Urban Decay, or Fashionista by Bare Essentials. I'm going to use Urban Decay because it's a little bit less messy than Apple. The same brush, just a little grease. I'm 
I'm taking my highlight, which is thin by Urban Decay. Favorite color ever. And an angled brush. Applying it to the empty space, which now it's just about that little bit. Yeah. And the cow chic alcorn or the brush or creek brush, whatever. Blend out. It's going to turn out. I have a little definition. Of the decay's liquid liner. Roach. Ta-da! Yep. That is my recommendation. You can also do eyeliner as a blonde, but it's for more like natural without like dark black eyeliner. Here. I'm gonna just like. Very nice. You just have to say that coming back from the TV play is gonna be a string line. It's a string line. Oh yeah. Or so you out to the Oh no. But yes, I'm her pimp. Okay, so that is my finished makeup look on Amanda. And the good thing is I don't put mascara on brown eyeshadow look because then look okay, it, I won't mess up glasses and they don't like when mascara gets all the glasses. It pisses me off. It pisses me off. Exactly. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about the products, check the sideboard before asking below. And we're gonna be making our own makeup channel coming soon, so Keep your lookout for that, and I will talk to you later. Bye!